Now today we're gonna to be looking at my top five broken border decks. Now if you don't know what broken borders are, now normally you'll see the white border around the outside of a deck of playing cards, but these have part of the actual back design going into that design. So you'll, when you give a fan, you'll actually see a cigar band effect that goes all the way around it, and I love how they look. So today I'm gonna to be going over my top five, plus two runners up, and one of them is a little bit odd, so I can't wait for to show you that one as well. So, top seven really, of my favorite broken border decks. So if you like broken borders, if you like playing cards in general, this is the perfect channel for you. So subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. And let's get into it right now. Now at number five, we're looking at the Paradigm playing cards by my buddy, Derek Grimes. And honestly, I love the way that these cards look. They're just beautiful. And when you give it a fan, you get that nice yellow cigar band that goes all the way around and it just looks gorgeous. There's no other way to say it. It's a gorgeous design, and when you do it this way, you actually get a blue cigar band. So it's broken bordered, but two different ways depending on which way you fan it. So like, literally, let me just show you, two one-hand fans at the same time are going to look like that. So you get the blue on this side, you get, like, you get the yellows, the blues, and the reds all at the same time, and it just looks freaking dope. So with a triple cigar band, actually with two red lines, it should be a quadruple cigar band all in one deck. This is why the Paradigm playing cards come in at number five. Now at number four, we have the Mono X playing cards by the amazing designer, Luke Weighty. And honestly, this deck is just so freaking cool. I love how this deck looks. I honestly just love how all of his playing cards are so monochromatic and they look so like geometrically perfect. It's just amazing. I love geometric type designs, a little bit more abstract. And when you give this deck a fan, you get that broken border right here and right there, and it kind of it looks like a broken border on the rest of it because it's like it's like almost to the border. So you actually get it in one, two, three, four, five places all the way around this outside. One, two, three, four, and five is actually in the center. It's just like ah, man, I killed it. Five freaking cigar bands all on one side. It just look at that. It just, it just looks amazing. So, seriously, Luke Wadey absolutely destroyed this deck, and with the amount of stuff that I've done to this deck, I've kind of destroyed this deck as well, um, just in two different ways. So, this is easily a number four for me in my top five borderless decks. And number three has got to be my babies, the Orbit V5 playing cards. I mean, seriously, just look at this deck. Now, when you're looking at it in this lighting on camera, there's not as much contrast as what I'd like, and even in person, there's not as much contrast from the orange and the pale blue and the white, which, truth be told, is the only reason this deck is not number one. It is one of my favorite decks, even in my top five video that you'll be seeing soon, you will see that this is literally in my top five decks of all time. So I do like this really nice orange cigar band that goes all the way around, and it just looks beautiful. Now, the only problem I do have with it so when you fan it the other way, there's no cigar band at all. It's only on the one side. But that still does not distinguish the fact this is still clearly my number three. Now at number two, we are looking at the oblique playing cards by Card Cuts. And just an FYI, this deck is literally my second favorite deck of all time. Out of every deck in that top 100, the two up there, there's tons more down there. In every deck that I've ever had, this is my number two deck. Crazy. And one of the great things about it is it has a sick and thick broken border. So it's a super thick design when you're looking at that. I mean, just looking at this back design here, this freaking thing is just super thick. And it's in both corners, clearly. So when you get that, you're just going to have a sick black and white lined broken border cigar band that goes all the way around. And it just, ugh. Now the problem is when you're fanning it this way, you have to do a really, really tight fan to be able to get this as to be able to actually get any kind of cigar band, even doing it like that, there's just barely anything. So maybe if I try and fan it the other way, which isn't likely to happen, but let's see if I can get this thing to work. There we go. It's like, even fanning it like that doesn't really work that well. Fanning it on the other corner doesn't really work. So it just, it's hard to make it work on the other side, but even still, this deck looks gorgeous. So let me just show you Under Pressure, which was the first time I ever used these cards, was teaching this move here, Under Pressure. And it just looks gorgeous. It really does, which is no question. It's why it's my number two overall favorite deck 
out of every deck in my collection and my number two favorite deck out of all the cards in this video. Now before we get into number one, we're going to be looking at two runner-ups. Now the first one we have the Diamond number eight playing cards. This deck is absolutely gorgeous. I wish I would have reviewed it on this channel and not the old channel before it got deleted. Absolutely beautiful deck. Uh, if you guys want me to somehow get another one and review that, I'd be fine with that as well just because this deck is beautiful. So when you actually fan this deck out and let me remove the extra ad cards because that definitely takes away from fanning it quite as light nicely as you want to because ad cards usually get in the way. Look at that. Bam. Super nice, super thick, and super vibrant. Now something that's really cool about this, not, not only number one, it's not in the center, so you do get a small one depending on which way you go. But also the faces have one there and there as well. And again, they're not centered. Right? So both ways, where this stops, this one starts. So when you fan it on this side, you get that. And when you fan it the other way, you get that. So no matter which way you get it, you get four different broken borders, which is why this deck Diamond number eight playing cards are my number seven. Now you might think I'm cheating for number six. We have the Cherry Casino playing cards at number six. Yes, it is true. This deck is technically not broken, but it is broken. And I'll show you what I mean. Like if you look at the actual white border on the outside, there's actually no broken border. But when you fan it, then there is. You get that, you still get that cigar band, which I think is really just pretty dope. So technically all of them bending the rules a little bit, because the broken border doesn't go to the outside, it kind of goes to the inside. I still love it, and I love the way that it gives a broken bordered effect without ever actually being broken. So, super cool way of doing it. Cherry Casino playing cards at my number six. Now, before we get into number one, every deck except for one out of all of these cards are all 10% off in the description below, so I'll hopefully I can save you guys some money and it will be supporting the channel while you're at it without costing you guys anything extra. So if you guys want to support the channel and get yourself some cards for even cheaper, this is just a win-win-win. Check it out, all in the description below. Check out all these cards. And now you want to know which deck is going to be number one, so you can check that out, obviously. That deck is going to be the Orbit V6 playing cards. Seriously, just look at these babies. These cards are gorgeous. I love green. Obviously, it's like the color of my logo, right? I love green, and I love the contrast between these two greens. You have such a deep force green to such a vibrant light green, and the light green isn't just a really thin line like the V5s. It's a bit, a little bit thicker, and it's all one constant thick color. Even in the V5s, it was different lines. This was one bold color, looks fantastic, and when you fan it, you get that. It's just beautiful. I love the way it looks. I love the way it handles. Truth be told, I can't really find many faults with the Orbit V6 playing cards. I mean, they're not marked like the V7s, but, you know, you can only do so much. So, the V7s are also marked if you don't know that already. So, if you want to check those out, I have a full tutorial on how to read that. And again, I'll link that video in the description below. So, hopefully, I can save you guys some time if you guys probably have them already. If you don't, you're probably a little bit psychotic. But seriously, you have, there's a full marking system on that, and all the Orbit playing cards will be in the description below for 10% off as long as they're not sold out. So make sure to check that out. And if you guys do like top fives and playing cards and broken borders, this is the channel for you. So if you guys don't mind, smash the like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect, signing off.